All right, it is just about 6.50 and joining us this morning, Dr. Alex Harrison, our cardiologist in for morning rounds. And we have a viewer question. One yep. We were always asking that you send an uh, email if you have a question or comment, and now would be a good time. And one of those emails we got is from Bill, and it says, uh, my doctor told me to take Advocor to lower my cholesterol, but the niacin in Advocor gives me a feeling of a higher body temperature and a tingly sensation. Are there any cholesterol controlling drugs without niacin? And that is the perfect question for our cardiologist this morning. Good morning, good to be here. Um, the answer to Bill's question is yes, there are many different types of cholesterol lowering mm -hmm. medications. But the sensations that he was getting from his cholesterol medicine, the tingling and the mm -hmm. warmth, um, are not uh, necessarily side effects, but actually an indication that the niacin or nicotinic acid uh, is working. And so there are strategies to try and minimize mm -hmm. those if intolerable it's, if effects. If that feels uncomfortable for people. Right. So I generally recommend my patients take it before bedtime so that they're sleeping if this were to occur. And if it still is a problem, you can take aspirin about 30 minutes before taking the nicotinic acid or niacin component, mm -hmm. and that generally also will minimize those, those flushing and tingling sensations. But that's actually an indication that the medicine is working and in doing its job to, to raise the high cholesterol. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think cholesterol sometimes is one of those that we don't always fully understand. You know, you need the good, you don't want the bad. And some foods have the good. You can eat the, the avocados, for example. Other right. foods you can't eat because that's too much cholesterol. So what's the difference? So cholesterol is a small waxy substance uh, that's in the body and it is needed to support body functions. It lines the, the cell membranes and is used to make some hormones. But actually, as you can see here, the body produces the vast majority of the cholesterol in the liver. We don't need to consume any cholesterol in our diet. Mm -hmm. um, and you can see it comes in through the intestines when we eat it and is also produced in the liver gets carried throughout the body and can get deposited in the blood vessels and form atherosclerosis and plaques. Mm. And the carriers of this uh, cholesterol are the LDL and the HDL, the high density mm -hmm. uh, lipoproteins. That actually carries the, from the blood vessels back to the liver to be removed. And the LDL, which is called the bad cholesterol or the low dense mm -hmm. lipoprotein, carries it to the blood vessel and, and deposit it. And so we target strategies to raise HDL and lower LDL. Mm -hmm. Niacin uh, raises HDL and statins are the mainstay of therapy to lower LDL. Mm -hmm. and what are some examples of statin medicines? Does that include Lipitor? Is that one of them? Yeah, Lipitor is a, a brand name that's a Torvastatin. There's Rosuvastatin, Simvastatin, uh, Lovastatin, Fluvastatin. There are about five or mm -hmm. six different statin medications, all with various potencies. And those medications are the mainstay of therapy that we use to treat high cholesterol. The, the reason being is not only have they shown that they lower cholesterol very effectively, but they have very uh, good data in preventing heart attacks, strokes, and prolonging life as a result. Okay, so you said in something interesting to me. I think it would be difficult to eat a diet where you didn't intake any cholesterol at all. That might be hard to pull off. But it's interesting to find that we really don't need to eat cholesterol in our diet because we do hear about sources for good and bad mm -hmm. cholesterol, but we could do without it. So those are more good and bad fats. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so there are, are good and bad fats, but cholesterol comes from uh, animal products. You can products. it in your body, right? You take in the food and then it is actually produced in your body. Is that the way it works? Right. Cholesterol is produced in mm -hmm. the liver. But the consumption of animals, so eggs, meat, fish, the sources where we would those get, all uh -huh. are have cholesterol in them that you consume. But nuts, uh, fruits and vegetables, avocados. Lydia was avocados. mentioning avocados actually do not have cholesterol in they them. Have they fat. have fat. fat. Okay. So they have the you know the the polyunsaturated, monounsaturated fats. Those are what you're referring to as the good and bad sources mm -hmm. of fats. Okay. Not cholesterol. But those cholesterol is different. Okay. Um, and so fats are important because they're a source of calories and energy and that's how our body stores things and so there are good and bad um, fats and some that uh, produce more energy and, and are more prone to mm -hmm. putting on weight and, and so forth. Right, so, <laughs> affect you differently, okay. Yeah. Exactly. But we, I really didn't, I guess I knew that your body makes the cholesterol. I guess I didn't understand that it was something you could absolutely do without though in yeah. your diet. Right, no, the, the liver produces 50 to 75% of you. all the cholesterol that your body 
has inside of it, and you really don't need to consume any cholesterol in your diet. So minimizing the, the amount that you intake is, is important, mm -hmm. and there are medicines that uh, the statins work by lowering the production of, of cholesterol in the liver. There are other medicines that work via preventing uh, the absorption of the cholesterol you eat in your diet from the intestines. Okay, so two different approaches. Thank you so much. As for always, information. great information, and you can uh, send in those questions, comments, morning rounds at KCLY.com. We thank Bill for sending his uh, comment in about cholesterol. Hopefully we allow the doctor to answer that, and we're back in just a moment.